Okay, so welcome to the first analysis of our specifications and this one is about synthesizing your first controller and we will see how to synthesize controllers and also check reliability of specifications, so checking whether there exist controllers. So we'll go back to our example of the traffic light. Uh, I just rearranged some of the assumptions here and now if we want to synthesize a controller, we simply right click in the editor, go to the spectra menu, and then we can say synthesize a concrete controller. And what this will do is it will print an automaton on the console here. This one that tells us how the system here would be implemented. This system will make sure it satisfies all of these guarantees when these assumptions are satisfied. Okay, so there's one initial state which has car A true and B false as the input that is expected because that's the only initial state that the environment provides. And then the output is false and false for green A and green B, which also makes a lot of sense because it satisfies this initial guarantee. Then we should never see an output where A and B are true together, which also is the case. But then we see actually that we only have a single state here. And in this single state, the no matter what the input is, the output is always that green A is true because that is also our liveness guarantee that we need to satisfy. And then green B is simply false because we um, have this this um, safety guarantee here that A and B are never um, green together. So we could add, to make this a bit more interesting, we could also say that we want green B to be always eventually uh, true. And then we can synthesize a concrete controller again. And now we see it's a little bit more complicated. Well, now we just have two states where it just keeps track of the different lights and in, in one of them B is true and in the other one A is true. And then it alternates between this S0 and S1. So that's still very simple but actually we, we just said here that the lights should um, be green always eventually but what we really want is that the light is green when there is a car, right? So Maybe we should write something like this, that there's a car in A and that A is then green. And similarly here, there's a car for B and B is green because otherwise, yeah, it doesn't really make much sense to have the, the light screen. Or yeah, we could also write something maybe similar, uh, just let's write it with some safety. So let's say that always um, if there is no car A then um, we don't have the light B, uh, light A green. So this is basically avoiding that we have green lights when there is no car and we can do the same thing for B. So now let's synthesize a controller again, synthesize concrete controller and it tells us actually there is no controller. It can't implement this. There is no, uh, the specification is unrealizable. And this is maybe a bit confusing, but we can uh, also check the realizability directly without synthesizing a controller and it tells us, well, it's unrealizable. And um, here, in, in this case, it's unrealizable because now what could happen is that there's never a car coming. So if we put back our assumptions from um, L1, this was always eventually car A. And always eventually car B. Now we have always eventually cars coming so then we would be allowed to make the light green and and this way we should hopefully be able to satisfy these guarantees. So now let's check the realizability. Check realizability, save it. Yep, now it's realizable and now we should have a 
nice controller again that makes sure it gives a green light when a green light is needed. Okay, great. Um, now let's look at this grid world here. Uh, let's see what happens when we synthesize a concrete controller here. It also does a controller, but now actually what ha happens is because we have this grid, um, there could be lots of possible inputs and there can be many, many states. So if we even increase the grid size, let's say not to four, but I don't know, maybe 20, then what happens is that the controller quickly gets very large and we have trouble printing the controller because it gets yeah really really large so in these cases what we would want to do is we would just want to check realizability because this is much faster and it tells us well specification is realizable that's it done in in a few milliseconds if we synthesize the concrete controllers it will take some time i'm not sure that it prints the time but yeah you see it takes even three seconds just for uh, printing and formatting all this so here really just checking realizability is much faster and then we can also um, synthesize something called a symbolic controller and this will just put out a representation of the controller which is also really fast and it doesn't require the printing on the console but it is machine readable so later we can execute that easily so we don't only have the concrete controller because for large state spaces with large inputs it doesn't make much sense to have the concrete controller uh, we also have this symbolic controller okay now this is the task um, so we have two further specifications which are based on the traffic light specification that we just saw the traffic L2A and the traffic L2B and they combine liveness assumptions and guarantees into one and for each of them please check whether they are realizable and if so synthesize the controller and then explain either why the specification is unrealizable or how it realizes the specification so we'll have a quick look at these this is the A and it basically takes the two liveness assumptions and combines them into one liveness assumption doesn't change anything else and this is the traffic L2B and this in addition to the liveness assumptions it also uh, combines the liveness guarantee into one and now please check whether they are realizable if so synthesize the controller and then explain <coughs> how they realize the specification or why they m might be unrealizable. 